Hi, everyone. <clears throat> right. So I'll tell you something about the magic of doing YouTube uh, today. Just because a thousand people have reached out to me and commented. Um, I don't script my stuff. Um, when I, I go over lists, I it's just... These are my thoughts. Nor do I script um, my videos, my tutorial videos. Um, I may make a few notes for them, but that's it. Um, and this is in order for me to, to make as much content as I, as I do. It's also um, because, honestly, I, I do make mistakes anyway. So the point is, <laughs> I make mistakes. Um, looking back over my catalog, I've said a lot of stuff that that isn't right. Usually, it's it's about like <clears throat> I should have maybe looked up a, a rule that I'm referencing, like offhand referencing something. I do make mistakes. I don't know a lot of people that that know all the rules correctly of this game, which kind of is a problem of second edition Bold Ashen, isn't it? That, that the rules are not written in a way where they are always clear and understood. And there are many of them that, that just, just fudges me. Uh, recently, I made a video in which I was uh, referencing that um, what, what a tank is. And I mixed up two rules inside my head. Um, one rule is that when you're uh, doing tank assaults, you need to be 8 plus and tracked. No, you don't need to be tracked, just A+. Um, but if you're doing tank fear, then you need to be 8+, and close top, is that it? Maybe I should look it up, right? Um, so, and, and this was not even what the video was about. Um, the video was about how to, how to use cavalry against tanks, and in this case, an open top one. Um, so the video stands, the, the tactic is absolutely valid. The only thing is that apparently the tank I was uh, using as a reference at that point could have assaulted, um, which wouldn't have done much in, uh, okay, um, it <laughs> didn't really matter. But a lot of people picked up, ooh, the tank can't assault. And, and forgot to look up the rule book. And I forgot to look up the rule book because there, I mixed up two rules. And there's a difference, apparently. Again, the rules really need to be cleaned out, don't they? Um, so, I do that. That happens a lot. I also, when I look at a list, I, I give you my first impression. I, I, I don't um, go over the list beforehand, make notes, look it up in the rules, uh, look it up in the books. So, I don't know all the selectors. I don't know all the special rules. So, I do make mistakes. I also make, sometimes make mistakes using my keyboard on my computer here, using this software that you're looking, I'm, I'm recording uh, right now on this software. Um, sometimes if I forget to press a certain button, well, the screen goes off. So let me just show you, I can, I can do that. Then I, I show you my screen. If I do that, I show you my face. If I do that, I show you my intro. So, so, and, if I forget to press that one button. So, um, which is another mistake I recently made. I'm, I released a video going over two lists and I forgot to press the button. So, um, no need to remind me all the time. It's embarrassing enough as it is, but I do make mistakes. Um, I don't go back over and redo it because I have so many people in waiting lists. Um, so if I make a mistake with your specific list, I'm sorry, but I am only human. So that was all the mistakes um, <laughs> noted down and, and deliberately set out there. Now, if I'm ever going to do a tutorial about a specific rule, then I will redo it, I promise. But if I'm doing it about something else, I may make mistakes in the offhand comments. That is not really about what I'm talking about. Just, yeah. I promise if I ever do, like, this is how the rule works. And I have done a few videos of, the, of those. I will definitely look everything up. Just to have it fresh in mind. 
So, don't take my offhand comments as being gospel. I'm not that good. Right. Um, today I'm going to talk about a, an email I got from Costa, Matthew Costa. So let me show you that and hopefully let me just check just because I made that mistake last time. Yeah, this is it. Right. Okay. So, uh, right. Um, good evening, morning, Bo. Hi, Matthew. I'm an American viewer of yours, and your partisan list has given me some thought uh, uh, to a list design that a friend of mine and I created. Ooh. Um, I am very new to the game. I only played three games. Okay. <laughs> but absolutely loving it. Great. Great to have you. Welcome. I, I agree. This is one of the best games. Um, the list is partisans. Of course it is. 24 order dice, 1,000 points, two platoons, 1942 to 45, liberation. Okay. 24 order dice. That is a, uh, that's a horde list or an MSU list, depending on how you build it. Um, it is compromised of eight units of inexperienced partisans. Everybody pistols. That's what I call pistolero units. Eight units of pistoleros. They are dirt cheap. They're inexperienced. They have tough fighter. That is, that's the horde, right? If that, if those are full units, eight units. Wow, <laughs> that is eight times twenty. So it's one hundred and sixty dudes. Um, and then eight general usage trucks. Two having MMGs. Just to spend the points. I don't know that the trucks are needed. Also all inexperienced. That's that's an MSU thing. Um, if if you have them if you have your inexperienced partisans in trucks, that means you have twelve man units. Or ten, depending on how big the truck is. I I think pistoleros are better in large units. Two regular bazooka teams with inexperienced civilian cars. Yeah, that will mess up any steward they throw at you. One medium mortar team, regular. One sniper, regular. You know what? I would cut away those trucks. I would cut away the trucks, all of them, and just use the points on uh, extra medium mortar team and an extra sniper team, and um, and then for the rest of them, Buy extra inexperienced partisans, make your units bigger. The idea behind the list is to throw almost a hundred. Yeah, so yeah, the partisans are not full strength. A hundred tough fighters at somebody and watch them choke on the bodies. With the sniper to deal with flamethrower teams, mortar team uh, to dig out the enemy tough fighters and fanatics, or Gurkhas if they're on the table. Now, um, there there are a few pro problems with this list. One, your sniper is going to sit behind your line, which means that all your tough fighters are, are in front of the sniper. You're not going to get those shots off at the enemy uh, flamethrower, unless you're extremely lucky or very, very good at opening lanes that he can shoot down. So the sniper is not massively useful in this build. Um, the other thing is that if you have your inexperienced dudes in eight trucks, the enemy is going to shoot the trucks. As soon as they move out, they're going to be shot. Maybe they'll survive. Maybe they'll move up. But then you'll be pinned. Um, if I was playing against you, I would make sure that I could pin a truck two times. Because two pins will make those inexperienced partisans not come out of the truck. So they sit there, do nothing, and wait for a turn. And then I shoot it again. And then it dies. The unit inside gets another pin. Gets... Uh, casualties and they are then locked down in place. Um, that's that's the main drawback. I have played uh, pistolero partisans, and while they they are absolutely lovely when they do connect, I it's really difficult getting them to connect. Um, ideally, I would have um, a lot more small teams in your list because they are going to do most of the killing. 
Um, and I'm sorry, but but Gurkhas will laugh this off. Um, the Gurkhas will get the charge off, uh, typically, because they're not being pinned down, and you need to move within six inches of them before you can get a charge off, or 12 inches. And if you're within 12, they will charge you. Um, and if not, they will shoot you and pin you, and then they charge you next turn. Um, so, and and if you are 12-man units in your um, inexperienced partisans, then only six of your dudes get to fight back, and that is if you haven't lost anyone, because the Gurkhas are scary. So that is not going to cut it. Um, Gurkhas will, will absolutely chew through this list, unless you're playing an inexperienced Gurkha player who doesn't know what they're doing. Which has happened to me. I have one with partisans against Gurkhas, but I didn't use a, a horde army. Horde armies, in my experience, and I've played a lot of Gurkhas against hordes, I, I just chew through them. I eat them one unit at a time. The list seems good in theory, but I want the opinion of an expert player to see if it would work. Yes, it would work, but there are some hard counters that you're going to come up against. And in if you're coming up against someone who has a lot of skirmishing, if you're coming up against someone who has um, who has Gurkhas, like assault uh, armies, then you're going to struggle. Um, yeah. Do not worry about dice limits or anything like that. Um, actually, your your dice may be a problem here. Um, 24 order dice is a lot of order dice. You will dominate the, the order dice bag. But, and that is one of the problems of horde armies, is the more order dice you put into the army, the less effective each order dice becomes. It becomes weaker and weaker and weaker. At some point, there's a tipping point where the, the order dice is not worth it anymore. I think actually going down to 20 order dice here, or even 16, might actually benefit you more so and that's why i say buy another medium mortar buy another sniper um if you're running those medium mortars you could run them inexperienced by the way but if you're running them regular buy them a spotter as well um maybe if you have the points left over buy yourself a nebelwerfer you can buy a panzerwerfer in like a german captured vehicle inexperienced um, and then use the rest of the points on partisans. Bring it down to 20 order dice, I think. Might be a good idea. Um, just because the, you're going to lose so many kill dice. So there are, there are missions and there are lists that are hard counters to you. In a tournament setting, that would be a bad idea. For a club game where you just want to field 100 um, pistoleros, go for it. It'll be fun. It will really be fun. Right. That was it, everyone, for today. Me admitting to all my mistakes and then um, trying to sound as if I know what I'm talking about. I will see you all in the next video. Cheers.